Hello to you all. This is Aramea Broadcasting Network News. I'm Thomas Kamalat. Prime Minister Dr. Abiy Ahmed meets with Fusa Musa Faki Mohammed, chairperson of the African Union Commission, to discuss the ongoing African Union reforms. The discussion further centered on the 11th extra session of the Assembly of Heads of States and the Government of the Union. The summit kicked off yesterday at the African Union headquarters in Finfinne, Ethiopia, with a, meet of, a meeting of the Permanent Representatives Committee. According to the program, the 20th, the 20th extraordinary session of the Executive Council will take place 14th to 15th November 2018. The 11th extraordinary session of the Assembly of the Heads of State and Government will be held 17th to 18th November 2018. Among the issues, the summit is expected to discuss on the African Union institutional reform process, including reform of the African Union Commission, mandate of the African Union Development Agency, and financing the African Union. In a website reported. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Ethiopia appointed five permanent secretaries. Olmo Buenas, the story. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Ethiopia appointed Winisha Tadesa, Mahale Tailu, Dr. Bogale Tolosa, Nagas Agai, and Dawan Okadir, all ambassadors, as permanent secretaries. Accordingly, Ambassador Winisha currently serving as permanent representative to the African Union and the United Nations Economic Commission for Africa, Asia, is assigned as permanent secretary to Africa and the Middle East Asian countries' affairs. Ambassador Mahalet, who has been deputy head of Ethiopian mission to the United Nations, will be serving as permanent secretary to Europe, America, Asia, and multilateral affairs. Ambassador Dr. Bogale, who was the Director General for Consular Affairs at Ministry, will be permanent secretary of Diaspora and Consular Affairs. Ambassador Nega, who was Director General for Public Diplomacy and Communication, has been assigned as permanent secretary for Human Resource Management and Service, and Ambassador Dawano, who was serving as Ethiopian ambassador to Cuba, is now permanent representative representative of economy diplomacy. The initiative is to build continuous institutional memory, according to the ministry. Appointed permanent secretaries will be responsible to follow up and decide the day-to-day -day tasks of the ministry, FABC reported. Minister of Transport Dagmoit Moga said her office will work to minimize waiting time at dry port to two days from seven, seven, for seven days now. Dagma with along with Minister of Vivanu Adani Chabebe visited Ethiopian first dry port, the Mojo dry port. During the visit, Adani underlined that the need to improve quality of logistic service to reap the benefit to trade and, and boost government's revenue. Dagma with for a part said her ministry will optimize efforts to reduce waiting period for containers at the part at the port to to two days from for seven days now on average. She further stressed the importance of enhancing competitiveness and providing a one-stop one shop service. FBC website reported. Thank you for watching. Have a good time.